Alrighty, guys. Well, back down here on the boat. It's the day after. But looks like our work down here survived. Luckily, we got it all covered because, as you can see, this line running through right there is a water run, and that would have gone straight into the cracks and soaked everything down. Yeah. Got it covered over here, just a layer of uh, a little bit of blush. Yep. So come back through. We've seen that before. It doesn't really seem to hurt anything long term. I know it won't matter because this guy for the long term. Yeah. Other than that, it looks pretty good. Yeah, a few runs on inside of this. Most of it looked like it just dripped off this fabric that was a little bit long, so. Yeah. Shouldn't be too much water absorption in there. Yeah, it'll dry out. This thing over it here was. Before, that's for sure. This thing was over here, uh, is wet, but it was, uh, just about that wet when we first opened it and it yeah. dried out over the course of a day yeah, so maybe even a little bit more so yeah so we're gonna start looking at this combing how we're gonna frame it out probably just be something similar to this one i think so yeah anyway that's kind of progress update get going on something here start puttering around Dad got these seams taped up pretty nicely. Still gotta come through and shave all this gel coat off. Yep. Get the holes filled. Trim these edges. Yep. Raise yep. out a little bit. Thicker layer on there. Needs glass underneath here where we uh, extended it out. So mm -hmm. we're still Fair amount of work to do down here. We'll probably add quite a few layers to this. I think we said before, but the uh, vacuum fish pump hose is pretty uh, hard on fiberglass, so we want it pretty it thick. Tends to beat it up, I guess. So. Loses prime and flings all over the place most of the time. Yeah, for our timelines, it's always temporary permanent, so. I guess it's good to remain consistent on that at least. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. So dad's just notching these two by sixes, which are now cut down basically two by fours. One side is for the bottom. The other side of the cut is for the top, similar to there. It has a taper on that combing comes up like that, so it works out quite nicely. Yeah, <clears throat> we were able just to put our angle on here and split these two by sixes, so <clears throat> it'll be kind of like that. And then we'll put a piece of skin on the outside. Pretty efficient, skin. actually. <clears throat> we're hoping to maybe at least try and get this frame and outside skin on this today and get some glass on it, because our weather is about to take a turn to the worse again. Yep, big old big storm day. rolling in here, yep. I guess, tomorrow. Today's the last nice day, so. Yeah. Try and get it dried in, hopefully, fingers crossed, but yeah, yeah it's pretty straightforward, so we yep. should be able to get the outside skin, throw a little glass on it, so. Yeah, just uh, just uh, fill at the edge and in a piece of uh, a matting is fine. I'll hold it for now. Keep the, the water um, from getting on the inside of this frame. It's pretty well dried out the last couple of days. Also hoping to get moved today, but I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Wait on another vessel to get moved to a new spot, and then we can move to a new spot right next to the fishtail. Yeah, <clears throat> that'll be nice. That will be nice. Feel at home then, even though we're just across the dock, but much more. <laughs> happy over there I think. Yep. So I just have my saw uh, set for three quarter inch here. Um, we're just gonna overlap these pieces right here. Give them a little more strength on these corners and 
Um, once those are in, then we can uh, figure out what we're going to use for the sides here. We picked up a couple sheets of plywood this morning, so um, we're actually going to measure our bulkhead down here that we need to put in, and we're going to cut that big piece out of our plywood, and then whatever we have for strips or scraps or whatever we're going to use around this combing. So that's kind of our plan there.
good progress so far this morning. It's afternoon now. Got all the outside roughed in and the internal framing is in progress. Dad's just scribing the last bit of external plywood there. Yeah, right nothing too fancy on this. Yeah. Let's throw a couple of little uprights in the middle there and then we'll put a, a piece of plywood on the inside skin and it'll cover all this, come down, cover these beams, tie all this stuff together. And uh, at that time we'll shoot a little foam and any gaps and cracks that we have in here. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. Look nice. Be, look more or less like this other one when we're done. Get these corners with the grinder to radius them and top ones with the router when we get there. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, feel good to get this one done. Yeah. The rain coming. Yep, task today is just to get this outer skin on is all we're really concerned about and um, and get some uh, honey in these corners, fill it in and layer a mat and that'll be fine. That'll waterproof it all and then we don't need to worry about the weather. Just throw a tarp over the rest of it, keep it dry. It's golden for now. Yeah. Happy. <laughs> yeah, it's very happy. Yeah. Alrighty guys, we're all prepped and ready. About to start laying down some glass. The inside's not done yet. We've got to put in some dividers, so uh, we're just gonna do a layer of mat on the outside so that when we put in the um, little braces in there, uh, putting screws through the outside, so we'll have to patch those up or whatever. So we're just gonna do a layer of mat Get it waterproofed. Yep, that's all we're looking for today. We're happy to get this done today. Um, big storm coming in uh, late tonight. Well, tomorrow morning, so it's gonna get wet in here without a doubt. Yeah. No matter what we do. So we're just happy to get this down and um, we'll get the rest of this uh, cut out protected now. Once this is in place, so we'll just put a little bit of mat probably in the dog. Probably about six inches total, three inches on each side, right up to here or so. Mm -hmm. Hit these lower holes with some putty, put in a thick fillet on this uh, gap right here, and that'll do it for now. Yeah. Keep it dry until we can come back and put some DTI on it and finish up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we wanted to give the inside beans some time to dry out. It's, it's been wet the day before yesterday. It was pretty rainy, so. Had a lot of big puddles to dump out of the tarps and a lot of drip in and so these being soaked in some water, give them more time to dry out. Yep. Once the storm passes, yeah. get it wrapped up. Yeah, that's not such a big uh, such a big priority once we get this outside just waterproofed. It'll just take a little bit and the water will just run around these hatches and no worries. Yeah. So we don't have to really go up the whole way. We'll just throw a tarp over this when we're done and we'll be golden for night and eat it so yeah get mixing on some juice and get this knocked out try to plan out everything yep try to bring it out yep start soaking in huh
All right, just knocking down a few high spots here. Um, we were a little bit high on this corner because when we put it in place, we forgot we had a couple extra layers of laminate here. So it jacked it up about an eighth of an inch, maybe three sixteenths. So we're just using the planer to knock a little bit off of it. And then uh, I'll take the, the grinder and radius this edge right here. Um, I'd use a router except it's actually an angle right there so it's gonna dig into one side more than the other. It won't take much to knock that corner off and put a little radius on it just like we did these uh, outside corners and Matt got some more supports in the middle here of this. We'll shoot some foam in here, put the inside skin on it and call it good. Yeah. So yeah, just a little bit of cleanup and a little bit of tweaking with the with the planer and grinder, and we'll be in business here. Um, next on the agenda is getting the shaft taken care of, but we're waiting to get moved into our other spot. Yeah, we were hoping to be moved last week. It was the plan they were supposed to have the boats moved and yeah stuff out of the way. Okay, guys, good news. They've repositioned two boats in the harbor to clear up a spot for the Emerald Isle here. So we're going to pull out this spot and go over the outside of the fishtail. Yeah, so our this will be our, our permanent spot until we get a permanent spot. Yeah. We're on a wait list for that slip right there. So mm -hmm. um, as soon as the present owner gives it up at some time in the future, <laughs> It'll yeah. be ours, but the good thing is that he rarely ever uses that slip. Like every four or five years, yeah. I think it's been five or six years since he actually put his vessel in there. Yep, and even then, it's just for a short time. So, um, yeah, that will be kind of our permanent stall for right now. Yeah, exciting. Yeah, very right exciting. The fish tail. Yeah, so. feel at home then. <laughs> We're so. just right across the finger from her, but now we'll be actually on the same. Well, across the main flow. Now we'll be right across the same finger. Yeah. But Go set we, you guys up over there. See all the action. We'll get moved.
We're clear. Yeah, you're good.
Incident. Yeah, that was a big move. All 40 feet. Yeah. <laughs> Still learning the new boat. Sure, fourth time moving it, I think. I seemed nervous. <laughs> but it's because we're in home port. You don't want to embarrass yourself. <laughs> Trust me how you just like backed it up and like you know, going straight in. Yeah. I thought you were going to try and do the tail swing in. Well, that was my original plan was to go back further and then come in bow and kick it in, but it seemed like it was just kind of walking over. Yeah. Nice enough when I was backing up anyways. So, well, we'll just go that way and see what happens. Sure. BP will just kick the stern out. Bring her hard and back out and come back in. And yeah. Cool. Stairs easy. Yeah. Even light in the stern. Quite unlike the fishtail. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I know. I'll sit on a boat. 